Now we are going to see how we can do different folder operations using the T-Box automation modules. So let's create another test folder here called folder operations, where we'll create all our test cases. Inside this, let's create our first test case, which is to create a folder, okay? So let's create this test case and let's quickly add our T-Box module. So we'll call it T-Box and create. Okay, so that will appear as T-Box create module or T-Box create folder module. Okay, and we have to give a path here. So we'll use the same folder which we have been using for our testing. So this is the C training uh, folder and in override we'll set it to true. But in the path, I need to extend it so that I can create a subfolder inside that particular folder, right? Otherwise, it's going to just overwrite that particular folder. So uh, I'm going to call it folder one. And let's quickly run this. Okay, so a new folder should be created here as you can see in this particular training folder, that is a folder one, okay? There is no files obviously, but there is a new folder. So our next operation, folder operation, is to copy a particular folder, okay? So let's see, tbox, or uh, let's call it copy folder. So let's add the module here quickly. So we are going to search for tbox and copy, right? So there are two modules, copy file and copy folder. We are going to use copy folder. Here we are going to give the source path. So our source path will be C training, right? Um, let's copy this folder into somewhere else, okay? And I will probably use the other folder which I've been using, which is the C samples. So I'll copy this here as a subfolder, right? I can give the overwrite as true and let's go ahead and quickly run this. Okay, so as you can see, uh, the contents of uh, the training folder are now copied into the samples, okay? So the folder one is created uh, or copied and the files are also copied, right? So that's how you can copy um, a folder and its content from one path to another path, okay? And let's go to our third operation now. So let's create a new test case here and we are going to call it to delete a folder, okay? So we'll see how we can delete a folder. And inside this again, Let's add our module, so tbox, delete, and we are going to select folder. Okay, so uh, it is asking for a path. Again, give the path where you want to delete this. So let's go ahead and delete this folder one, okay? And um, if you want to delete everything inside that particular folder, right? So you can also give the recursive value as true. Okay, so we don't have any files in that, inside folder one, but if we have, and if it is set to true, then it will delete everything. Okay, otherwise it uh, won't delete anything inside the folder one. So uh, let's go ahead and run this. Okay, so let's go to the C training folder and there should not be any folder one because we have deleted it, okay? Right, um, so what we are going to do is we are going to check for our final folder operation. So that is to check for a folder existence, okay? So check folder existence. Now this could be a, a interesting one because this could be a common one which you will use probably to check a particular folder is present, maybe a reports folder or some test data folder before you run your test cases, right? So this could be a useful one. 
uh, for that, let's go ahead and add the T-Box module. So check, or it could be T-Box folder existence, okay? So this is the module. And here we just need to give the path of the folder which we want to verify, right? And uh, that will just verify it, okay? So uh, I think you cannot browse it. So let's go ahead and get this particular path, okay? And let's go ahead and run this. So the verification has passed. Uh, verification was successful as usual. Uh, it will give you an expected and uh, actual value folder does exist expected value was this right should exist so this is uh, in scenarios where you want to check uh, whether that folder exists before any performing any operations in that right so what you can also do is basically have this test case right inside uh, or the first test case in your folder operations okay so first you verify then you create right or and then you copy and then you delete what you can also do you can put a if condition and uh, put all this into one particular test case if you want to run through one test case with all different steps right so that also you can do but uh, these are the different uh, t box automation modules which you can use for different folder operations and uh, as we have seen earlier you can also use them for file operations okay